I am sure that you have repeatedly found yourself in situations where a woman began to put hard pressure on you, manipulated you, shouted, tried to insult you in some way. There are several simple and effective ways that will allow you not only not to let yourself be offended, and also put a woman in her place in such a way that next time she will lose all desire to engage in confrontation with you. She will understand and respect your opinion. I must say right away that all the information provided is a tool to combat unworthy female behavior, which unfortunately is often found in the modern world. Tools to protect against manipulation. Countermeasures that will allow you to stop any violations of your personal boundaries and protect yourself from attempts to bend you, impose a sense of guilt in situations where you are not really to blame. I keep saying that a good woman who loves you and cares about you should be appreciated and respected. And as a practicing family psychologist, I am sure that it is impossible to build healthy relationships on manipulation. But in any relationship there are conflicts. I repeat in any case. And the purpose of this video is to help men learn how to behave correctly in such situations. Write in the comments how you behave in conflict situations with women. What techniques and tricks work best to protect against manipulation? Don't forget to like it and I'll start. So if you have a conflict with your woman, if she is trying to insult or humiliate, then first I will remind you of the two main rules that you need to remember in a dispute with a woman. First, in case of conflicts, you should not get involved in long dialogues with her. If you do that, then you will definitely lose. After all, your dispute will resemble a game of shimmering chess. When you can swap the pieces during the game, that is to put a rook in the place of a knight to the place of the pawn, the queen, thanks to which to declare checkmate or checkmate to the opponent. Also, a woman in the process of emotional clarification of a relationship will easily lead you away from the main topic of the conflict and you will find yourself to blame for everything. Therefore, in case of conflicts, we do not get involved in long-term dialogues. We don't jump from topic to topic. If you're trying to figure out why she was 40 minutes late for an appointment, and she says in response that your ex wrote to you last week. You didn't say anything to the ex, but nevertheless, you offended her a lot. If you start making excuses, then you've lost. After all, she easily took the conversation in a completely different direction. Therefore, when a conflict situation arises, we discuss only one specific topic. We conduct a dialogue without shouting and tantrums. After all, this is a territory where a woman will definitely outplay you. Your strength lies in calmness. Second, during an argument, you cannot give a woman trump cards that she can use in the future. An example from the recent practice of one of my clients who came to me for advice. During a domestic quarrel, a woman in a fit of anger began to beat him. The man trying to defend himself pushed her away and she fell. So, if a woman throws her fists at you, you just fix it without letting yourself get physically hurt. And then you help her pack her things. With the words that it is unacceptable for you when your woman tries to cause you physical harm. After all, this is a demonstration of obvious disrespect. And believe me, after such words, an unworthy woman will drop out by herself. And the one who loves you will understand that the use of physical force in a relationship with you is not acceptable and he will build communication with you in a completely different way. By the way, it works very well when you start filming it on video. After that, the woman also calms down quickly. In my practice, such manifestations of aggression are often found when you have spoiled your woman, or her previous man did it, and she behaves this way guided by a sense of permissiveness and impunity. Or another example. When talking in a raised voice, a woman says that she will leave you for another man if you continue to behave like this with her. And you, trying to hurt her, say that you have a work colleague with whom you communicate and whom you like. And if she goes to someone else, you won't be alone. What awaits you if you utter such words? You will give the woman an important trump card. She will say that she just emotionally threatened you with another man. That she's loyal to you like a dog and he doesn't even think about cheating. And you, the cheater, are already communicating with another one. It's easy to guess who will have to justify themselves in the end. Instead, when a woman says that she will go to another man, you answer her dryly. 
Okay, go away. In that case, it won't be long before she apologizes. Promising that it won't happen again. After all, you ended your quarrel at the stage when she allowed herself to say too much. Thus, you showed that you were not afraid of losing her. So he showed his strength and independence. And a woman will quickly understand that it is better not to joke with you in this way. Otherwise, the next such provocation on her part may end in a breakup. So, the first way to put a woman in her place is directive. At the moment when a woman allowed you to do too much, let's say she raised her voice at you or even insulted you. You tell her in a measured tone, look, I'm talking to you normally now, calmly. There are screams and insults coming from your side, which is certainly unpleasant for me and which indicates a clear disrespect for me. So, if you're going to continue the conversation in that way, then I'll just end my communication with you and that's it. If you are ready for a dialogue in a calm tone, I'm waiting for an apology for what you just said. And we continue. The choice is yours. In such a situation, a woman will have no choice. She will no longer accuse you of one of the standard female phrases, you are not a man. She will have only one way out. To agree to your terms? Of course, if she continues to scream. Then you just end the dialogue. If she doesn't apologize after that and start communicating in a calmer way, then I recommend you to think about it. And are you on the way with such a woman? Maybe she should you get a cat instead of a man. Second, humor will help put a woman in her place. But I must say right away that this method will work only with not the most serious conflicts. Let's say, you are at home and going somewhere, for example, to a restaurant. But you're getting an urgent call from work. And you have to spend 15 minutes solving the problems that have arisen. It is impossible to postpone the solution of work issues. Your woman is starting to freak out about it. Humor will disarm your woman. Yes, she won't calm down. But when you disorient her, then plug in the directive method and tell her. I understand you perfectly. And just like you, I want to get out of the house as soon as possible. But it's a job. Thanks to which you and I travel, buy clothes and food. Therefore, I hope for understanding. This is one of the techniques of emotional buildup. When you showed that you were not her enemy, that you hurt her. But there are things you can't influence. And then the woman will respect your boundaries. The third. If humor works well in not the most serious conflicts, then with obvious manifestations of aggression and disrespect on her part, ignoring works well. No, not total disregard. I still maintain that there are techniques much more effective than total disregard. I'm talking specifically about short-term neglect. When you go to the stage of ignoring during a conflict, having previously caught her in some gross violation of your borders, Let's say she starts yelling at you and says something offensive. What are you saying to her? You raised your voice at me, insulted me. This is unacceptable to your man. Therefore, the conversation is over. And you leave, ignoring her calls and messages until she apologizes, offers to have a normal conversation, and promises that this will not happen again. Surely you will have a question. If I use all these techniques, will it be possible to completely avoid conflicts in a relationship? No, it won't work. There will be conflicts in any case. But there will be much fewer of them. At times. And most importantly, when you defend your point of view, a woman will understand what you want. He will respect your opinion. He will understand when she is really wrong. And that's when she will appreciate you exactly as a man. I believe that you will succeed. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your attention.